Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to tape a factory joint. So this is called a flat joint and what it is is it is where the two factory edges meet. As you can see it's beveled so you can fit the tape inside there and it gets hidden. So these joints run the length of the drywall. You always want to match them up so a bevel to a bevel. And the reason is they fill in really easily. It's an easy joint to finish. It doesn't have to be floated like two to sometimes three feet wide like a butt joint. This one can only be about one foot wide. So anyways, this is just how to tape it. So let's get started. So I've got taping mud here. It's mixed a bit on the runny side. You can see it starting to fall off the knife. Um, you definitely want to have your mud a little bit thinner. It's so much easier to work with. So what I'm going to do here Real simple, just going to get the mud on my knife like this and I'm just going to run down the joint like so. And I'm spreading it about, you know, a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch thick. And I'm just going as far as I can reach. You can see this spot back here I've got pre-filled because there was a bit of a gap. Need a little more right there. Now, I don't try and do the whole joint when I'm taping by hand like this. I don't do the whole joint in one run. So I just do what I can reach from my bench. We get this ideally centered on the joint here. So I can see right there, there's the center. I'm just going to stop right here. Get a little mud off my shirt. Okay, and you just go like so. So these ones don't take a lot of wiping. Basically, it's under there now. As you can see, even just from wiping once, the tape is already under the surface of the board. So it's no problem to leave that extra little bit of mud under there. And just push into the corner like so. Again, make sure that you got all that extra mud out of there. Now, some people at this stage will backfill it. So what that is, is, you know, maybe in spots where there's like these empty spots right here, they're gonna go to the bevel like so. So that it's a little more consistent, a little more full. I actually don't think that's necessary. The next two coats should fill it. All right, let's do one more of those just so you get the idea. So I, again, I just do it the length that I can reach here. So we are, yeah, I can comfortably reach that. You know what I'm gonna do right here? Just so that I can, oh no, I can find my tape because I can eyeball it with the tape. So actually these flats are pretty easy this way. I showed on the butt joints a little technique for finding the center of your tape. It's really not as necessary on this one unless it's wandering a lot. Oh, I'm out of practice, you guys. It's my first taping job in, I don't know, a month. Not as smooth as usual. Okay, so all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna overlap the tape a little bit. And as you could see from when I showed you what it looked like after you wiped the tape out, there is going to be, there's going to be enough room to overlap the tape a little bit. It's not going to be a big deal in the bevel. So I'm stopping right there because that's as far as I can reach. So when I'm taping these with my tools, like my taping tools, I will do the whole stretch, but in this case, off a bench, just doing one by hand, I'm gonna break it into pieces, and I'm not gonna worry about that overlap. Okay, and I just mentioned that I'm not gonna backfill, but look at that, that's just nasty. So sometimes I'll eat my own words, and I am gonna do the backfill on this one because it was too empty. So that's a little bit better. This is gonna cover real nicely in two coats of mud. And that is how you tape your factory joints. 
if you're taping by hand. Thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Hope you got something out of this video. Any of the tools you need for this job will be linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.